A day after the deluge and areas along the coastline which took the impact of the tsunami are an underwater junkyard. The wreckage of buildings, boats, cars are strewn across a huge area. Trains were swept off their tracks. In some cases, the tracks were uprooted too. Oil refineries, which were set ablaze by the earthquake, continue to burn. A 1,300-mile stretch of northeast Japan was swamped, and amongst all this mangled metal, there are many bodies. Estimates of the number of dead have risen as emergency workers and the military have made it into the worst affected areas. Many thousands of people are said to be unaccounted for, including more than half of the population of the town of Minimis in Riku, which is thought to have been obliterated. You cannot see any building which the city office used to stand. In Riku Zendikata alone, hundreds of victims were discovered, drowned or crushed by the debris that smashed into the town. 50,000 troops are being deployed to help with the enormous search and recovery effort, and specialist teams are being drafted in from other countries, including Britain. Japan's Prime Minister Naoto Kan toured his devastated country in the only form of transport which can reach coastal communities which are now inundated. The view from the air shows the scale of the disaster and the size of the task ahead. More pictures have emerged of the terrifying moments after the immensely powerful 8.9 earthquake off the coast triggered the series of tsunamis. This is Kamaishi. Coastal defences were easily breached by the giant waves, and once ashore, nothing could stop its steady, deadly progress. In Kesanuma, like many towns, people and cars tried to accelerate away from the oncoming wall of water. Here, a bus just managed to avoid being hit. In Fukushima province, people watched in awe as below them a dam was breached. In Tokyo, buildings were rocked and people inside were shaken, but they're built to withstand the powerful earthquakes which afflict the country. This time, the appalling damage was the result not of the quake bringing down buildings, but because of the shock waves that the seismic activity unleashed at sea. The country remains in a state of shock, whether they witnessed it for themselves or just watched the terror unfold on television. Ian Woods, Sky News, Northern Japan.